21st graders will get to Unit 3, Week 3, Day 4. Listen carefully as I say a word. Uh, and then put it together. G O A S Glance. The word glance has many sounds. Let's count the sounds. G O A S. Five sounds. I'm going to say a word and we will break it apart into their sounds. Ice. I S. Two. Fledge. P O E J. Four. Slice, s, o, i, s, four, cell, s, f, o, three, race, er, a, s, three, gel, j, l, j, f, o, three, stage, s, t, a, j, four, chance, ch, a, s, four, Dodge, d, a, j, three, fence, f, a, n, s, four, face, f, a, s, three, page, p, a, j, three. Okay, friends, these are our new words. Please notice that even though, oh, let me get the right pen. Even though there's an e, a d here, the E st still tickles the A, so it's er, a, st, word, raced. Another thing I wanted to point out one more time is that when we have two letters in front of our E, E cannot jump over two. So this is why it doesn't say fuge, it says fu, uh, uh, uge, with an, uh, a short U sound. So three, two, one, fudge. Three, two, one, placed. Three, two, one, slicing. Three, two, one, pages. Three, two, one, fence. So you'll see how there are two letters here, so E cannot jump over two. That's why it's F. Three, two, one, brace. Three, two, one, ice. Three, oh, can't jump over. There it is. Three, two, one, danced. Three, two, one, dice. Three, two, one, space. Okay, let's read this. Pace. Change the s to g. Page. Now that one was a hard one. I'm sorry, I did g instead of j. Let's try that. So three, two, one, pace. Change the to j, page, change the p to w, wage, change the w to k, cage, change the k to r, rage, change the j to k, ra, change the j to s, race, change the a to i, rice, Change the er to o, lice. Put an s at the front, slice. Uh, change the o to p, sp, sp, spice. Change the i to a, space. Change the sp to er, race. Change the a to i, rice. Change the, change the s to j, ridge. Add a B in front. Bridge. Okay, here are our high frequency words. Here we go. Any, 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 any. Do you have any time to play? From, 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 from. The cake came from the shop. Happy, 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 happy. The dog is happy when I pet his face. Once, 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 once. Once I ran a mile. So, 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 it is hot, so I will play inside. Upon, 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 once upon a time, a king had a magic stone. Here's our story for today. I'll give you um, time to read it, then we'll read it together. Together? Uh, you can't see that. It's tales from a uh, past age. 
Okay, here's some words you'll see. Three, two, one, said. Three, two, one, comes. Three, two, one, you. Three, two, one, have. Three, two, one, are. Three, two, one, new. Three, two, one, happy. Three, two, one, any. Okay, let's look at this. We'll read that together again. Tales from a past age. Okay, so let's look for any sight words. There's once upon. Uh, age is uh, has the just ending. Okay, let's read this. I'm going to let you go first, then we'll read it together. Your turn first. Okay, together. At times, a tale said once upon a time. A tale like this comes from a past age. Can you name a tale? So when they say tale, it's a fairy tale or a story. So generally when we say once upon a time, it means it happened a long time ago. Okay, let's look for more of those words. I see tail again. Uh, we have mice. And that's about it. So well, your turn first. Together, a tail like this can have things that are made up. It can have mice that sing. It can have pigs that use bricks. So, so pigs that use bricks are the three little pigs, right? That's a fairy tale. So here we have tail again. Places. Ooh, a gem. A gem is like a diamond or um, a ruby. And then race, we have sneaky sneak. So your turn first. Together. In a tail like this, the two cows go to new places. They can get a gem. They can have a race. Okay. So let's look at this tail ledge. That means it's kind of um, by the window sometimes. Bridge and cage. So lots of j endings. Okay, your turn first. Ready? Together. In a tail like this, a plant can sit on a ledge. A king can be on a bridge. A bug can end up in a cage. Okay, last part. Your turn. Uh, let's find some words. Tail. Happy. There's a sight word. Faces has sneaky see. Tail again. And age. Okay, your turn first. Then we'll read it together. Together. A tail like this can end in a happy way. The faces can have smiles. So look at a tail from any past age. It will be fun. Okay, friends, so we've been talking about verbs. So we have three kinds of verbs. A verb that's happening now, a verb that's in the past, or a verb that's in the, that is in the future. So we have the verb dance. If we want it to be in the future, we would say we will dance. That means it'll happen sometime, but not yet. If we want it to be in the past, we'd say danced. We danced. So that's in the past. And this was the future. And then if we're doing it right now, we add the ing. So we do get rid of our e, and we put ing. Dance. E means it's happening now. Okay, so let's look at some of these, okay? Okay, so we've been talking about inflectional endings. 
So we have the word trace. Trace is something I do. Now if it was in the past, I'd put traced. Even though it says t, it'd still be with it, ed. If it were ing, I'd cross off that e and put ing, tracing. And if it were in the future, I would put, oh, I would put, oh, one second. 